in my New York City apartment and it's cold. I was already confused at where this air was coming from. I like asked my roommates, I was like, do you guys have air coming through like your room? And they did not. So I start feeling and the air is coming from the mirror. Okay, and I realized the mirror moves. Let me show you what I found in my New York City bathroom. Just the electrical. Oh, no, no, no. There's a room back there. <laughs> So what if someone's living in there right now? <laughs> like, I have to go in and figure out what is on the other side of my bathroom. Like, what if someone's living in there? When we first saw it, they were, like, John and Julia were obviously freaked out, but John tried to talk me out of going the whole time. <laughs> Do you think my hips can fit through here? Uh, okay, are you ready? I really don't think you. John, are you going to be there for me or not? I'll be here. Ready? Yes. I was firm about John staying at my at my mirror, like at my at my sink for me. And I told him, you know, if if I'm not back in five minutes, if you don't hear from me from, from in five minutes, call somebody. Otherwise, like I'm good. <laughs> okay, John, stay right here. Hey, you're in the other side of the dimension. <laughs> Go onward. Okay, I'm scared. Honestly, there was never a point where I second guessed going in <laughs> until I was like maybe in the wall. <laughs> So I was excited walking through it. Like I was looking for, you know, anything that was out of the ordinary or anything weird about it. Um, but I did find myself having to remind myself uh, that I, there could be somebody. You smell something dying. So I would walk, I would walk through a room and I'd realize I was standing in the middle of the room. And I was like, I would immediately think back on every horror movie I've ever seen. <laughs> and every like CSI show. And I was like, I would like turn around like, to make sure I'm paying attention in all directions. It's freezing in here. Wow, this is a whole other apartment. Okay, great, great. I'm gonna go ahead and lock this door. Made it out alive. I am still very shocked that it went viral, much less this viral. Like, I, me and John were sitting in the living room watching the numbers go up, and I remember looking at him and being like, John, what do I do with 20,000 followers? Like, I, are they just gonna watch me dance and like be silly and like sass people? And like, you know, are they gonna watch me go around the island and like, and like look at, I mean, you know, I was just like, are they just gonna live my life with me? Like, and then it just rose and rose, and we were flabbergasted. It's open, it's pretty, it's got, yeah, we, I love our apartment. Um, if I thought it was haunted, we'd be out. But right now, if we can just rectify this thing and like maybe just have one point of access to our apartment um, and that'd be the front door, like I think, I think I'm down to stay. <laughs> My landlord's getting a really fun phone call tomorrow. Hi neighbor, how are you? Oh, no.